Hey guys, so I can't get any internet right now, but I'm laying in a big, soft, comfy bed, and no matter where I go in my tent or in someone's house, the one thing in my life that has remained the same in the past two and a half years is my beautiful Bangor Viper 1000 sleeping bag. It goes with me everywhere, and that's the only thing in my life that doesn't change. And I actually sleep better in it than I do in a big duvet or blanket. So I'm all tucked up nice and warm. And I'm having a couple days in the Isle of Man before I plod on with my journey. And I'm going to Ireland next. My hair, is, my hair is tickling my face. And the Isle of Man was amazing. It was so full of just, it was just a really special place. And I've just completed the 100 miles of the island. And there were four lovely girls waiting to cheer me on when I arrived. The thing I want to talk to you about today is I will do a video about the new home. I'm sorry, whoops, <laughs> I keep doing that. I will do a video of the Isle of Man and about, you know, what it was like and all the places and everything. <clears throat> I will do that video either live on my Facebook page or I'll do a video that I can put on here and on my Facebook page. I just wanted to talk to you about life. And about sometimes how, you know, we make mistakes and, you know, we're all human beings and um, we can't let those mistakes um, or those situations dampen our spirits or stop us from plodding on and we have to be strong. And sometimes your heart will overrule your head. And you'll know that somebody doesn't want to hear from you or you'll know that someone in your life that doesn't care about you anymore, you, you'll you know that you need to just um, get on with your life and stuff. But sometimes your heart overrules your head. And I've heard from so many different women especially, you know, when they talk to me about ex-relationships, um, past relationships, and your life, that sometimes your head will say to you, you know, don't do this or don't do that, but then suddenly your heart will come and take over, and then you feel like a right ninny because you've called somebody or emailed someone that actually doesn't want to hear from you. And what we need to do is find love within ourselves to know that um, no matter what, you know, that everybody's human, everybody makes mistakes, everybody deserves to be loved, and everybody deserves to be forgiven. And one of the reasons I'm walking and living in my tent is because lots of things have happened to me in my life that has made me need to go to my happy place, and my happy place is the seaside. And I love walking. But I don't lay here claiming to be <clears throat> this perfect person who's never ticked anybody off, who's never, you know, who's never made mistakes, who is brutally human. And today I'm going to get some lovely person is going to write titanium down my arm with the Isle of Man little three legs which means no matter what happens or no matter where you go you still get back up something like that so it's going to be written down there and I was I just happened to be in the tattoo shop yesterday and I was just curious and and a random act of kindness so there was another man in there getting a tattoo done and he had heard what I was doing and 
next thing I know that not only was the tattoo man going to give me the tattoo at a discount, the other man that was cutting this beautiful fish tattoo done on his leg, he sent me a message last night saying your tattoo has been covered for. So he actually paid for this tattoo and he has no idea how much I needed to, um, I don't know, how I needed needed some positive vibes yesterday and then the news on the news station they had my story on the television last night and all of the things that made me question myself all day long you know like uh, why is this person upset with me so much and why doesn't this person forgive me like some of us do we think in our lives you know we just want to make peace and we just want forgiveness and you try to contact that person and, and you try to get that peace and forgiveness from them and and you're angry and you know and and no matter you can apologize for mistakes that you've made, but if somebody doesn't want to accept those apologies, then you just have to let it go. And I'm not the only person I've met so many people on this journey, you know. But that's what makes us human. That's what makes, that's what forgiveness is all about. That's what love is all about. Is if you love somebody, you will forgive them for mistakes. And, and, you know, like I'm walk, walking this to raise money for the RNRR. And what's really sad is there's so many people out there. I've gone across bridges where they've got signs up from the Samaritans because somebody is so sad in their life because somebody has not loved them or they've not forgiven them or they're feeling so depressed and so upset by something or someone in life and they see no way out of it and they jump off of bridges and they you know and the RNRI has to go out and rescue people that have you know not only people that have just accidentally and done something but people that have wanted to do something to harm themselves and you guys know when I was four my mother committed suicide and so why hold grudges guys why be nasty to each other why why do people have to I don't know it's just so sad that there's so many people out there and for me had I not gone on this walk, had I not gone on this this walk to my happy place, I had lost everything. My balloon year had come back. I had lost my boyfriend. I had lost the home I was living with him. It was his home. I had lost my job. I couldn't be seeing my grandkids. And I was so down. And I'm still I'm still bummed at what COVID took away from me. Because I liked my little life my little job and you know and love my ex-partner and at 53 years old I had worked hard at this job and I'd worked hard at the job I had before this job and here I was living in a tent wandering aimlessly around the coast but I still have my sleeping bag but and I wanted that one person to say, come home, it's going to be okay, I forgive you, you know, come home, and he didn't, and I kept walking, and sometimes, guys, Facebook memories come up of, of a past relationship, or a past happy time in your life, and you just, your heart just jumps out of your chest, and you just, you just want those happy times back, and you just want life to be what it was, but sometimes it can't be, and you just have to plod on with the journey that you're on and be as hard as titanium. Don't get weak. Don't give up. You know, don't be mad at yourself because that person won't forgive you because you have to forgive yourself. And if you can forgive yourself and you can love yourself, then you can prove to yourself that you no matter what, no matter how many times, your heart is broken into a billion pieces. No matter how many cliff tops you have to climb. No matter how many things come in your way. 
to try to stop you, to try to make you fall to your knees. But you have to keep on plodding. And tomorrow, the next day, I arrive in Ireland. I think I know one person in Ireland, or two people. And it's my ex-partner's uncle and aunt. But other than that, I don't know anyone in Ireland. And I'll be getting to Ireland to walk around the coastline. And can I tell you when you arrive at a place? It's like, okay, I'm here. Don't know anyone. I've got to walk. <laughs> it can be scary. But then the whole new experience is the waiting around the corner. And you've just got to plod on. So I just want to say, firstly, forgive yourself, guys. And then, you know, ask those people to forgive you, but forgive yourself first. So for anyone that I've, I've wronged in, in my life, anyone that I've hurt, then I, I am truly sorry. Because this journey has taught me so much about happiness, sadness, brokenness. Sad women out there, sad men out there that are lonely. Happy, happy marriages out there that have been, they've been together 40 something years. Marriages out there where the wife and the husband have forgot to appreciate each other. And I tell them, you know, life is short. And remember why you fell in love. And remember what was special about that person. And no visiting. <laughs> because if you don't, you could lose them. Anyway, this is just a little bedtime talk. And I've got to get my big girl panties on today. And I'm going to have a tattoo. And I'm going to tuck my broken little heart away. And I'm going to, in the next couple of days, arrive in Ireland. I'm going to put my big backpack on my back. And I'm going to walk. And every day I walk, I'm going to go, grow stronger. And be a better person than I was before. Forgive myself. Don't make the same mistakes again. And say sorry to anyone in my life that I've wronged. And, um, and plod on and be positive. So I can complete this journey. For everyone that's been following me along this journey. Thank you so much. I'm never alone in my tent at night. Because I've got all of you there with me, sending me messages. And when I wake up in the morning and I show you nosy lot that I've slept, I know that you're, you're there to start my day with me. And for those out there that don't like or appreciate, forgive, love, or care about me, then, okay, I accept that. Because I care about me. And there's lots of people out there that care about me. And guys, if you're watching, there's lots of people out there that care about you. Don't hold grudges. Don't hold anger. Don't hold bitterness. Make amends and be kind. Life is too short. I love you. Bye.